welcome back guys so today we will see how we can uh, remove one error actually it's not exactly an error but kind of a warning from log4js so if you're following with the protractor series from uh, this channel then you would have seen that um, we are using the log4js for the logging like any kind of logs you can print it to either to a console or else to a file log file that is creating so before we have used one method uh, like where one we are creating a class and with a static method and then what we are doing we are calling this static method in each of the test so for example let's say here like as you can see so this is the way we are calling that so import log for js config from the folder and then if you go here you can see i'm calling the class and then i'm doing the log that is the static uh, method and then i'm using this one now one problem uh, with this if you are if you're following this series uh, so let me show you quickly that so control tilt i am into the terminal and here if i go to the node modules to to start the web driver so let me start it so i'm basically running this particular test and you can see the test is nothing but it is running the bank test pom so bank test pom is this one okay so uh, one more thing just before running this test so i have um, uh, what you call bumped up the versions to the latest one uh, so because it's pretty much uh, old code so i have updated that and there is nothing much mu much change into the uh, like from the library specific so the old code will definitely work as it is yes i did change one more thing so if you have observed i have changed the site url or the application under test so you can uh, and i'm pushing this code into the github and i will share the github link into the description so you can uh, just clone that and get started with okay so that's about the update from the old sessions what we have learned and then i'm clicking on plus and i will do npm test so it should launch the browser so it is launching the browser and it is performing the action so adding a customer and then opening an account and then it will go to the customers to delete that app entry what we just created that's pretty much uh, what we have learned so far okay so it deleted that entry now it is closing the browser okay so everything is pretty much working as usual but there is if you observe there is one um, what do you call kind of a warning it is giving to you can see max listeners exceeded warning so uh, it's some kind of memory leak so i thought let's fix this one so whenever um, when i went and researched about this i got to know that uh, the way we are handling this log for js config file is bit uh, different so let's rectify this one because what it is doing every time i am doing log for js config dot log what it is doing it is configuring every time this json file so that's what we we are going to uh, what you call remove that and better option what we can do is that um, configure once and use it across the different uh, uh, classes okay so for that what i will do so this json file will remain as it is uh, like we are creating two appendix console and file and there is a default category which is giving the console and the file both so if you are using the default category whatever logs you are printing it should print into the console as we can see here and also it should print into a file okay so let's do one thing so under config i'll create a new file let's say logging.ts file okay so here what i will do i'll create a constant okay and then let's rename it as log4js and what i will do i'll do require and then the library that is nothing but log4js okay now the second thing i need to now configure this one okay see i'm not putting it inside a method i'm just making it as to global so log4js dot configure 
configure and then the path of the JSON file. So the path should be here. Okay, now here what we'll do, we will export this one. So export dot which category that is nothing but the default category, right? So equal to log for js dot get logger. So we are using that logger get logger method and the category that is nothing but the default. Okay. okay this should be exports yes okay so that's how you will be using now what we will do all the instances of the log4js config.ts we will have to replace with the logging.ts okay so now this is all about configuration now let's see how we can utilize it so for an example here we are importing right so let me just comment this one and then i'll do one thing here constant and then log equal to i'll say require now require the path of the config file that is nothing but under config sorry under config slash the logging logging.ts which we have created and this should be in single quote fine so that's how you will be doing and now what we will do here now definitely it will throw me left and right error so what i can do log dot debug and here i will print this one now i will no longer will be using the log for js config so the same thing here log dot debug and then here text fine so there is one more place okay and what i will do here i'll copy this one paste it fine okay so the same thing let's see quickly where and all we are using so let me quickly copy paste for quicker access here directly i can use this one okay so let's see here okay we are not using here we are not using see how i can see here this is grayed out it means that i'm not using anywhere okay so let's see where else i think in the specs let's see okay so in the specs also we are not using okay so we are good to go now i have changed all the okay i think there is one place in the alerts we are using yes and now let me copy this one and yes here directly i can delete this one log dot debug okay fine so let's run i think my web driver is running and now let's do an npm test to run the test again okay some error i'm getting so it's telling that cannot find the config okay this is because it's because it is outside the folder right so i need to go back to the folder so this is a directory structure okay so now let's run it i hope three places only okay okay so the problem is that uh, if you see here this log dot defaults we need to do in all the pages that's why it was closing and let me just click on this and defaults that is the category actually which category we are getting it Oops, sorry not here dot defaults okay have i think alerts we have used right so constant log require the config dot uh, slash logging dot defaults we need to do okay so now we have set all the um, log related stuff now let's rerun this code base and pm test okay so customer got added and now it's processing the open account okay account created 
now it's going to the customer and deleting that particular entry okay so it got deleted it should close the browser okay great okay so as you can see here uh, so before we were getting that right on this the memory leakage but now as you can see um, we are all good to go with that so that's how uh, this particular so it's a short video of troubleshooting the logs uh, hope this is helpful for you guys okay so in the upcoming sessions we will see more about the protractor with TypeScript. so stay tuned and do subscribe to my youtube channel